Hi guys, welcome to Dashboard Reviews. It's me, Robbie, and I saw Blinded by the Light like four days ago, and it's been a busy ass week, so I didn't get to film the dashboard until now, the night it actually comes out. I scored an advanced screening to this, uh, and uh, I really like the movie. So it's about this uh, kid who lives in Britain, uh, but his family is from Pakistan, and uh, he gets really into the music of Bruce Springsteen, and it helps him understand his family, helps him uh, just get through some tough times, and uh, it's a really, really good coming-of-age story that I think will resonate with a lot of people. He has these really strict parents, and so uh, at first he thinks he wants to kind of rebel, and he wants to just do his own thing, he wants to forget about them, but throughout the movie you kind of see him grow and understand that it's really not that black and white. And I think the way they utilize Bruce Springsteen's music in the movie to convey that is really, really great. I am a big fan of Bruce Springsteen, so some of the some of the songs do get me a little bit uh, biased towards liking the movie. Born to Run is one of my favorite songs of all time. And uh, those scenes that feature Springsteen songs where it's got the lyrics uh, on screen are incredible. I love them. It's very stylistic, and uh, I feel like you don't see that kind of stuff that often anymore, and it was really, really cool. I really like all of the characters. Like, uh, everyone's portrayed as kind of the good guy at some point. You see everyone's point of view. Even the dad, who for most of the movie is kind of portrayed as a dick, you really see where he's coming from. Like, he just, he, you can tell he really does just want what's best for his kids. And he kind of has, like, his own view of what's best that may not necessarily be uh, what his kids think, but he's, he's still doing it because he thinks it's the right thing to do. Uh, whoa, what, what is a negative about this movie? <laughs> it's, it's honestly hard for me to find something I really didn't like about the movie. I, there, I can't think of too much I didn't like about it. And what I did dislike about it was kind of more nitpicky. There wasn't really much big there. So it, it's not a perfect movie. It's definitely not for everyone, but I do think there are going to be a lot of people who really, uh, relate to this movie. Like, I, I went with a friend who is, like, I don't think she'd ever heard a Bruce Springsteen song before, maybe two, uh, and she really connected with the characters and stuff. It's a very heartwarming movie. Like, I think just about anyone can connect with it, whether or not you're into the Bruce Springsteen aspect of it. So in the end, it was a really good, really fun movie. Uh, I enjoyed all the performances. There wasn't much I didn't like about it, and I can see some other people disliking it, but I think more than people than not will really connect with the movie and uh, its messages. So, uh, that being said, I'm going to give the movie an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it'll probably, I'll, I'll say it'll maybe end in my top 10 of the year. I, I don't know how good anything else is going to be. Uh, I think it's pro it, it's definitely currently in my top 10 of the year. I really enjoyed it. Check this one out. I I get the sad feeling that it's not going to do very well, but it's, it's a really good message, and I think it's something that a lot of people uh, would connect with, so I hope it does well. Thanks for watching Dashboard Reviews. Uh, you can check it out. We just reviewed Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Uh, but thanks for watching Dashboard Reviews. Uh, coming in soon.